myself, Kevin Bowie, there's more! So a lot of you guys have had a lot of questions in the community about what would happen if you flew a mini quad in a moving vehicle. You might have seen Nurk's video where he chased a train that raised a lot of questions about safety and physics. And there yes. was an open door, he flew into the door. Like how much of it was the train controlling things versus him? So we have taken it upon ourselves to put this to the scientific test and this nice U-Haul truck. What do you think will happen? If the U-Haul is in a constant state of velocity, so constant speed, and then the tiny whip takes off. You're not gonna see a difference. It would just be like hovering in your living room. All right, so now what do you think will happen as soon as that velocity changes of the U-Haul? The whoop isn't gonna move. Like, you'll feel the movement in the truck, but the, the whoop is in the air. I think that the tiny whip is going to all of a sudden be in the back of the U-Haul truck. I no, agree wholeheartedly. Oh, stopping. because, yeah. think about this when you're sitting in a car and you come to a stop, you feel the pressure on the seatbelt because the car has to slow you down too. But I think that you don't feel the air move. You come to a stop and you don't feel a but breeze. But the air doesn't push on you. The seatbelt does. Okay, I've got two tiny whip batteries uh -huh. that, that it's gonna go fly in the back. You're gonna feel a difference when the U-Haul I will happily bet two batteries to you guys. <laughs> what do you think will happen when the U-Haul changes the Makes well, a it's still acceleration, but it, it is angular acceleration, but I still think the air is getting moved with the truck, so the whoop is going to move with the air and with the truck. I think that as soon as that U-Haul makes a left, this tiny whip's still going to be over here. It'll look like it's yawing inside yes, of the truck, without any yawing. and then it will end up hitting a sidewall. Alright, we've got batteries on the line. Let's put this to the test. Let's go. Daniel has graciously volunteered our driver and for this test. We've got the awesome latest and greatest Tiny Whoop. Thank you, Jesse, for hooking us up. Check him out, tinywhoop.com. Has all the latest and greatest stuff. Good luck, little guy. I hope you don't get all destroyed during this test. All right, so here we are in the back of the U-Haul. Daniel is up front. I just told Daniel to go ahead and find a nice straightaway. Now, Daniel, as soon as you get a constant speed, let us know, and we're gonna start our test. I'm gonna try to get to 20, and then that'll be the constant speed. And it's at 20 right constant now. Constant speed. Kevin, go ahead, let's get the first test going. All right, hands off. Basically, it's just there. Go to hover and it stays there and the reason for that is because the u-haul already brought this into that same momentum or that same inertia that is like the new zero right so from there if daniel slowed down or sped up that's when you see the change what surprised me is how stable it felt just at like a kind of constant speed so we actually attacked this ball just so you can tell what the truck is doing so right now we're coming to a stop and you can see the ball moving forward <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, don't, don't do that. Daniel was probably accelerating really hard and I just started making a beeline to the back. Thankfully Kevin saved me, but there was this one instance where I was just sitting down and I just fell completely back off from my chair and uh, smacked myself in the head. All in the name of science. Alright, now Daniel, can you accelerate? Wait, you weren't doing that? I think Kevin was doing it. I did not, I stopped it. We're going to continue to prove this concept. Now we're going to start doing braking tests. Alright, go ahead and stop as hard as you can. Oh, man, it took off. Oh, yeah, it goes all the way forward. So just as expected. <laughs> I don't have a PhD in fluid dynamics, but I do have a PhD in car air fresheners. I've had things dangling from you know, my rear view mirror, and I know it's not exactly one to one, but it is a representation of what happens when you're not directly attached and stuck to the vehicle. I was a little bit surprised, because as you know, Drew, he has an engineering background. He has a degree in physics. I know that he's done these calculations. He's calculated the angular acceleration uh, in a vehicle. I thought he would have seen this one coming. Are they saying I don't understand inertia? I no inertia. I knew the tennis ball would move the way it moved, but I think the inertia of its weight isn't necessarily overcome by its lift and whatever. Science is stupid. And now we're gonna play with turning. Daniel is gonna go ahead and turn, and we'll see what happens to the tiny load. It's yawing! It's yawing on just like I told you! It's yawing! <laughs> I haven't experienced it myself. Okay. Nope, we're turning. It's yawing! We're turning. We are so turning. Off. We just made a right. It, it made a right. It made a right. Exactly 90 degrees off. That's nuts. 
that was way more pronounced than the acceleration or the deceleration. Like you could clearly see it happening. It was almost as if some invisible hand had grabbed the stick and uh, pushed yaw input into the radio. Once I started seeing that they were right and as we accelerated the whoop went back, of course I knew that when the turn was coming they, they were going to be right and it was going to yaw with the turn. But for it to be exactly, for you to actually see it, you end up 90 degrees after exact 90 degree turnaround at intersection. That, it was pretty crazy to see. Hey up, bro. You owe me two batteries. And Kevin. It's okay. Get two with batteries it. for Thank you. Thank you very two much. Two batteries and some chapstick for Kevin. <laughs> you look like you need it. There. We saw it slam into the back. We saw it slam into the front. We saw Tommy slam into the back. Yeah, my head hurts <laughs> a little bit. The coolest part, though, in my mind, was when we took the 90 degree turn. Yeah. 90 degrees. And Perfectly. it was crazy to see it degrees. end up 90 degrees after the turn. It was cool. Big thanks to Daniel for being our driver. Yeah, big guts for the great. headache. And I think uh, we're going to pull you into this. We're going to take this whole thing to the next level. Before, we were just doing simple accelerations and decelerations and one turns, but now yeah. we're really going to mess yeah. things up. Uh, we're all going to be flying yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Tommy, what do you got for us? Well, you thought that was it, right? But wait! Everybody <laughs> check! Guys, we are going to race inside a moving U-Haul. Every man for themselves. Deal? I'm getting my redemption. They may have been right on the science, but I'm gonna whoop their asses. And Daniel <laughs> is getting in on this right here. Let's get to it! Woo! even driving that crazy. I'm going like 10 miles an hour. This is not a good idea. Don't do this. Don't at home. do. Yeah, that was. was uh, I think this was our idea. It was our idea. Yeah. yeah. It, was, mean, it, it was. It was. It was fun until until towards the very end, and yeah. then and then it just. This guy make my just, head hurt. It's a lunatic. You're yeah. psych. Yeah. You're yeah. a psychopath. I thought you we were got gonna to the drive point. Calm. What the? We're like, hang please on, hang stop. On. Yeah, we got to the point where we're like, we're out of batteries. We call to get him to stop. We look at the map, and we're like halfway to the. <laughs> airport in LAX. <laughs> so yeah, we got scrambled up, but we did it for you. So please support us by buying things in the store so we can continue to get injured. Maybe you shouldn't buy anything. No. <laughs> just, just go check out the Rotor Riot store, and if you see some stuff that you need, pick it up with us. Come on. Why not? And big shout out again to Jesse over at Tiny Whoop for hooking us up with these crazy gates and Tiny Whoops. Oh, Dude, big thank hell you yeah. We would not have been possible. Yeah, yes. this wouldn't have happened without Jesse. Thank you so much. Big old and thank you. Daniel. To Daniel. <laughs> Mr. X Harvard himself for giving us the day in his facility and additionally for driving us around and then getting in with us and going through yourself. Sad, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye.